Previously on Gen Alpha G Mod. Whoa! Wait, this is kind of fire. Hold on a second. This is I'm kind of getting into this. This is kind of a banger right here. So this does obviously like anybody who's sitting in chat right now, and I've seen a few of you. Some of you boomers in there are like, this is this is some bullshit. What is this slop the children are watching? But um, this is literally on par, if not like better crafted than the Gmod crap that you all watched for literal years, okay? I remember, all right? I have a functioning memory that is unclouded by the curse of nostalgia. And I remember what Gmod shit got sent around when I was in high school. I remember the Gmod stuff people were watching years after that. This is actually an example of a Gmod style and the funniness and creativity of that Gmod stuff being brought to a future generation. They're actually going, hey, this is what your grandpa used to like on the internet. Let me show you how to like it in a modern era. And the kids are going, whoa, grandpa and grandma, they were so cool. You guys used to watch Skibbity too? And then grandpa and grandma would be like, yeah, kind of. Ah! Whoa! Grandpa! You see what I'm talking about? Grandpa came in clutch! Yo! There he goes! He's got the Ari and everything! Whoosh! Oh, there's the big bad. No! No! Oh. Wow! That's actually sick as hell. Okay, so they're doing the tripod from Half-Life, but they've turned it into a big camera weapon, and it's got this, uh... suggestive organ on the bottom that's also a weapon. So I see we're getting some commentary on the phallocentrism of war. Yes, yes. No! They got him! Ah! So that guy was like a prison toilet. So they're like in desperate measures is what I'm seeing. The cameramen have been forced to resort to uh, hyper militarism in their struggle against the oppressive Skibidis. And now the Skibidis are actually getting worried and so they're breaking out their most cruel inventions yet that we've seen so far at least. No. It's actually really interesting how short some of these episodes are. And like, we're watching them together as a flow from episode to episode. And they actually like, there's a certain flow. We're seeing them as snippets in a larger war. You know? Like basically, we as the audience are a spirit jumping from moment of suffering to moment of suffering within a greater war. And if you watch these in real time, you would have only seen them, you know, disjointed, out of sync with time. It would have been like, uh, it would have replicated the experience of, of, war, of like a war being watched at a distance. Whereas our experience watching them piece to piece is, pla is like almost like placing us on the ground. Incredible. Wow, that they've got a they had a berserker toilet in there. 
Okay, now we're getting into some aim and animations territory. This is interesting. I'm actually fairly impressed with this. I I I thought Skibbity Toilet was even stupider than this, but this is actually kind of it all kind of clicks for me. So you've got the found footage element, all right? So it's touching on those like creepy pasta type stuff, and then it has like the eldritch horror elements, which is like you know, just raw horror. Like, this is a scary thing that moves in a scary way and it has a scary face. It has meme references to an insanely popular meme being the skibbity bop guy. And then you have, like, the childish level, which is, like, the fear is mitigated through basically uh, scary faces, you know? How, like, children are very scared by, like, a monster mask because it has distorted human features that look unfamiliar to them. This is actually genuinely like, there's like, there's something, they're, they're, I can see the juice. I can see what they're cooking together and why this has become so popular. And also why it appeals to so many children just trying to like find anything on the internet to keep them entertained. You know, it's all, I'm being dead serious. I know that like, uh, obviously a little bit. I don't need to do this much analysis on Skibbity Toilet, but also at the same time, you can kind of see what's going on. Like found footage is crazy popular. Uh, uh, horror jump scares generally on YouTube are crazy popular. Uh, Gmod was also a huge, an entire era of internet history, which that's probably coming from the people who created this. They probably grew up on Gmod type humor. It all kind of, yeah. It all kind of clicks. They got a Duck Dynasty one! Lovely imps, if you've been if you've been enjoying this skibbity licious skibbity react, then make sure that you slam the subscribe and like button down below because here we are trying to form the bridges, okay? The connections between the humor of many generations, the comedy of the times, and this skibbity stuff is pretty damn good, I gotta say. You know, I might be a cringe millennial, but I can see gold when I find it, and there's gold here. So make sure you subscribe because what I make is gold also. And I know you want to see more.